Hello, my name is Catherine Mottram and I'm course lead for geology here at the University of Portsmouth. And today we're going to give you a flavour of what it's like to study geology here. Geology is the study of the earth beneath our feet, so the fascinating and rich 4.5 billion years of earth history. Geology encompasses parts of all science and applies bits of biology, chemistry and physics to the natural world. Geologists investigate the immense processes that have shaped our planet through deep time. Processes that have caused life to evolve and flourish. Built vast mountain ranges, concentrated metal resources in our crust, caused destruction, earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, as well as the complex web of interconnected environmental, oceanographic, atmospheric and ecological processes. We need geologists more than ever to help understand, locate and sustainably manage critical metal resources, as well as that to build new infrastructure for society. Geologists are not only useful for understanding how we can use earth resources, but also how we can protect the environment and mitigate the impacts of some of these processes. Geologists are key players in helping to create a sustainable future for our planet. So the best thing about geology is it's very hands-on. So it's getting out in the field, it's doing experiments in the lab, it's being really collegiate with your colleagues and it's a very fun and active course. So as well as providing lecture content where we discuss all the fundamentals of geology, we also get out into the field and that is the best thing for most geologists. So our course here at the university is really thinking about the fundamentals of geology, so learning about rocks and minerals, about geological hazards, about the resources which we can find on the earth, as well as environmental considerations and engineering considerations. So we take a kind of holistic view with putting together all these different parts of understanding our Earth system. First year geology involves an introduction to geology and our wonderful planet, including rocks and minerals, sedimentology and fossils and paleontology, engineering and geological hazards such as volcanoes and earthquakes, as well as an introduction to maths and science. In second year geology we look at the dynamic environment in which the Earth's crust deforms in structural geology. We did more advanced rocks and minerals in petrology and sedimentary processes. We go into the field in geological field techniques and also explore the skills we need as professional geoscientists in professional skills and explore geographical information systems and remote sensing which are important softwares for a range of geoscience careers. In third year geology, the main piece of work is the dissertation project, which is based on an independent piece of field work or research. As well as that, we explore more advanced aspects of geology, thinking about everything from planetary geology and how the earth formed to early crust and some of the biggest mountain belts on earth. We think about mineral resources, so how do critical metals concentrate in our crust? and how do we find them, as well as a range of optional modules including environmental science options, thinking about climate change and um, pollution and how we manage the environment. We also have a module about advanced sedimentology, thinking about oceans, climates and the environments and how our earth system has changed through geological time. Then going to more recent times, so thinking about glaciology, quaternary geology and geomorphology. And finally, there's also an option to think about an introduction to becoming a teacher and doing a PGCE. Our course is highly employable. We have students successfully completing sandwiches in industry. Our graduates work on real world problems, such as major engineering projects and tackling climate change by finding geological resources critical for renewable energies and the green technology transition. 
field work is fundamental for any geology program because we are concerned with the rocks beneath our feet so we need to go out there and look at those rocks. We provide a variety of different field trips both based in the UK and also abroad at both first year, second year and third year level. So our field trips are usually what our students enjoy the most about our course because they're getting out there, they're really learning about concepts that they know about in theory but they're seeing, feeling, touching, seeing the rocks for themselves and they can really have those eureka moments where they suddenly grasp concepts that they haven't got before. So some of the examples of field trips we go on at the moment, in first year we go up to the highlands of Scotland, we go and look at some absolutely fantastic rocks, there's some classic localities that are world famous and I just love going up there, tromping around in the bog but looking at some fantastic rocks. And then in second year we go to Brittany, um, which, where we see a whole host of fantastic examples of different types of rocks. And currently in third year, we're going on a trip to the southwest um, of England, to Cornwall, to see some of the really great resources that we have here in the UK, and also really, really great examples of classic geology locations. Geology is a highly practical course with lots of opportunities to get hands-on in the lab. Let's see an example of that now. Immense plate tectonic forces deform our Earth's crust, which push the rocks, forming some of the biggest mountain belts on Earth today. I'm an expert in Himalayan geology, so I've been out into the field to collect data and look at rocks out in places like India and Nepal. Back in the lab here at the University of Portsmouth, I get my students to build their own mini Himalayan mountain belts. So this is one of the examples of the practical, hands-on laboratory classes that we do. We build up layers of sand similar to the sedimentation of rocks which happens on Earth today, and then we squash them, mimicking those large-scale plate tectonic forces. So what we're doing here is we're mimicking exactly what happens when we start to build mountain belts like places like the Himalaya, like the Rockies in America. We're using this analogue model just with sand to, to build up something that happens all the time in nature. Fault are key breaks in the Earth's crust. These are the structures that earthquakes happen on, so it's important to study faults for understanding seismic hazards on Earth, as well as that they're important pathways for fluid in the crust, such as water, oil and gas, or metal-bearing fluids. So when our students understand faults, they can apply it to a whole range of different industries in the future. For students, it's a great, fun, hands-on practical, and it also means that they can see in real time three-dimensional geological structures forming. That's important because when they go into the field, they may see a similar kind of structure. So they have already made their own deformation experiments. They know how that type of structure that they see in the field has formed. And for a geologist, being able to learn about the theory of rocks and plate tectonics, to be able to do experiments in the lab, and then to be able to go out into the field to apply their knowledge means that they have this fully rounded and unique set of skills that makes them ideally placed for the workplace. So what's really great about our programme in Portsmouth is that we have several different support networks for students. So we, first of all, are a really friendly, approachable, collegiate, community-focused department. So I think the students feel part of the geology course. We also have a tutorial system, so students are broken into small groups and we have one-to-one -one tutorials and small group tutorials which help support them through various different academic and also pastoral issues. Um, as well as that, we've got societies within our department, so we have an active geology society where the students can support each other. 
And as well as that, the students spend a lot of time either in the field or the lab. So there's a lot of peer-to-peer -peer support as well uh, because they really genuinely get to know each other in a year group. And also they get to know us as lecturers because we're going out in the field with them. Yeah, there's nothing like standing outside in the rain or in the sunshine to really feel like you're part of the community. Uh, my name is Alex and I study geology. Um, so on the course, uh, my favourite parts are the petrology lab <laughs> um, and um, the field work that we do um, and the, the amount of interaction that we have with our lecturers and the practical side of it all. Um, so if students wanting to study geology, um, I chose this university out of other ones because the, how friendly the staff are compared to a lot of other unis and the amount of practical work that we do and the amount of field work. Like, it's not just, if you want an office job, geology isn't what you want to do, but if you don't want to be in the office every day and you don't want to be just in the classroom every day and you want to be outside and doing practical things, definitely, definitely do geology. <laughs>